Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello. This is Reverend Dr. Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. Now this morning I'd like to capture my thoughts with this dangerous permission. Permitting something which is very dangerous. In Acts chapter 12, I found something that was very interesting there and especially the verse 3. Now if you remember, Herod, that, that wicked king, the Bible says he took James and then he executed him. He just killed James. And after killing James, you know, then the Bible says something that really lighted up my fire and lighted up my eyes. I said, wow, lit. my eyes got lit because of that. Look at what he said. The Bible said, now Herod, after killing James, after wiping away an innocent man, a good man, just a disciple, someone who had a belief that was contrary to his belief, someone who was proclaiming the gospel, and James was an apostle, James was a righteous man, James was a good man, James was a powerful man, James was anointed, and James received the baptism of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, and fire fell on James's head. So James had all the qualifications and the criteria for apostleship. He was one of the twelve. He saw Jesus walk on water. He saw the great drought of fish. He saw uh, the dead being raised. And he was apostle. He was one of the people who went out in twos, healing the sick and raising and casting out devils and all those things. And Jesus said that he even saw Satan fall like lightning from the skies. James was very gifted and very powerful. In fact, I mean, the Bible referred to them as the sons of thunder. James and John, the uh, sons of thunder, one ages. And that was that was. Uh, what what he was, and yet this wicked king took James and killed him. And now the Bible says something that is very 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 interesting. The Bible says, and when Herod saw that it pleased the Jews, it pleased the Pharisees, it pleased some people who were enemies uh, to the to the gospel, who were I mean uh, who were had had a, a, a very vile uh, attitude towards the the gospel. The Bible says, when Herod saw that it pleased them, he went for Peter. He went for Peter. Because he saw that it pleased the enemies of righteousness. It pleased the enemies of the gospel. It pleased the detractors. It pleased those who were opposed to the gospel. When he saw that it pleased them, that is, those who had a satanic and infernal displeasure, you know, against the gospel, the Bible said, when he saw that it pleased them, he went for Peter. Now here's the thing, but for Peter's case, the disciples then rose up and began to pray. And they prayed unceasingly. They prayed, it was a protracted time of prayer. God give us Peter or we take nothing else. They rose up with wings of prayer and they began to pray. And they began to seek the face of God. And they were saying, God, give us Peter, give us Peter, give us Peter. And it was the intercession of the saints. It was the intercession of the people of God that rescued Peter from the uh, fangs of death. It was that which rescued Peter from the valley of the shadow of death. Now here's the thing. The first time when James was taken, there's no record in the Bible that the disciples prayed. But the second time, they said, enough is enough. This nonsense must stop. You know what? Sometimes we give the enemy permission to operate. We give the enemy permission to operate by a lack of prayer. And a lack of awareness. First Peter 5 it says, Be sober, be vigilant for adversary, the devil, like a roaring lion, plots about seeking whom you might devour. When it happens once, but when it happens twice, happens this thing, wake up call. And the disciples said, No, we will not permit this. So you'll be very, very surprised. Certain cycles are repeating themselves, certain things are repeating themselves in your family, in your life, in your business. And it is because you folded your hands and you've not risen up on the wings of prayer. The battle cry has not yet been sounded. The warrior is not standing up. The man appointed by God to deal with it is sitting in lethargy and is sitting in despondency and sitting in despair. Now instead of sitting in despair, folding your hands in despondency, raising a cry of sorrow, it is now time for you to rise up and stand up as a warrior and say to the enemy, enough is enough. By the prayer of binding and loosening, the prayer of making intercession for God and saying, God, 
to God and saying, God, we will not allow this to happen again. It is we who give the enemy permission sometimes to operate. By inactivity, our lack of prayer, our lack of intense prayer. Look, it's not, it's not the, the wishy-washy mumbo-jumbo that we sometimes get into and just to please ourselves that we have prayed. But this is an intense prayer that comes from inside. An intense prayer that comes, it's a prayer of desperation. That was what the disciples say, prayer of desperation. That not for Peter. So when something repeats itself, you need to rise up and say, no, never again. No, 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 no. This nonsense, the box stops here. This nonsense must stop. You know, sometimes we blame God for things that happen when it is not God's fault. Because we give the enemy permission. By inactivity, our prayerlessness, a lack of intercession, and we're not standing, being watchful and being vigilant to deal with those things. As usual, the choice to give Satan permission or not is always ours. For me, war is war. One battle lost doesn't mean the warfare is over. Doesn't mean the war is lost. So I'll rise up with wings of prayer. I'll rise up and stand before the throne room of God. I'll rise up and make arguments before God. I'll rise, I'll rise up and fill my mouth with arguments and say, God, it can't go on forever. It has to stop. And then I'll turn to the enemy and say, this nonsense must stop. Well, dangerous permissions. Choice is always yours. See you later.